Breaking news! Games Workshop is about to rework their shade paints range of 7 new colors, better flow properties and 80ml pots like Citadel Contrast. I'm Starly from Tale of Painters and I was allowed to try the new shade paints before anyone else. Are they really an improvement or just the same product in a smaller pot? Games Workshop invited me and a few other content creators and painters to a product seminar a while ago where we were introduced to the 25 new additions to the contrast range and the new revised shade paints which will replace the current generation of shade paints in just a few weeks. The new paints are advertised as having improved flow properties and come in the same 80ml pots as Citadel Contrast and Cryptek Armor Shade Gloss. There are also 7 brand new shade paints expanding the range from 12 to 19 colors. During the seminar, we were allowed to test the new paints extensively. I also have the new shade and contrast paints at home and have already used them for a few projects, so by now I really have a good idea of what these new shade paints are. First of all, the most important thing, stay calm, all previous little shade paints remain in the range and keep exactly the same color. Only the base, in other words, the transparent acrylic medium, has been improved. More about that in a moment, let's take a look at the 7 new shade paints first. Berserker Blood Shade is a red wash that, unlike Karabor Crimson, has a warmer and browner hue. Tyrant Blue is a new blue wash, less blackish and much more vibrant than Drakenhof Nightshade. Poxwalker is a dark green wash, darker and slightly cooler than the warm Bealtan Green, but not quite as bluish as Celia Green Shade. Croak Green is a muted green wash that is less ochre than Ethonian Camel Shade. Mortarian Grime is a grimy ochre wash, significantly less orange than for example Seraphim Sepia. My absolute favorite is Targo Rage Shade though, a dark brown wash with hints of purple, perfect for dark skin tones, but also fantastic for metallic tones like copper and bronze, as I've already had the pleasure of trying. Last but not least we have Soul Blight Grey, which is a grey wash for the first time. Here you can see the difference to Nuln Oil. I noticed that this wash requires a lot of shaking, as it also contains white pigments that will settle quickly on the bottom of the pot. I also made this comparison sheet with all shade paints hand painted on white scarf primed plastic card and photographed under a daylight lamp, which you can download on my website Tale of Painters, a link is in the description below. And if you like what you've seen so far, why don't you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. You can also support me on Patreon for exclusive tutorials and resources. Thanks a lot and back to the new shade paints. The 7 new washes are a really welcome addition, closing some of the gaps of the former range. But what about the improved formula? Games Workshop promises smoother results with less pooling and better defined shading. Let's find out if this is true or just marketing talk. Here's the first test model I painted during the seminar. I applied various shade paints, including the new Agrax Earth shade, the new Nuln Oil and the new Seraphim Sepia. You can literally feel how the dark pigments are drawn into the recesses after a few seconds. And the result is really amazing. Significantly less pooling on the flat areas and dark and strong shadows. A good first impression, but let's take a look at this in a direct comparison between old and new. I primed this test model at home with a coat of Corox white spray, which is a matte light grey primer. On the left side of the model, I apply the old little shade paints and on the right side the new versions. After everything is dry, here's the result. All in all, I'm very impressed. The old washes on the left produced a decent result, but the new shade paints created an even smoother finish with less staining and pooling, which makes them even easier to use. Just take care to soak up any excess wash, as because of the lower surface tension, the wash tends to gather in the recesses quickly when you apply too much. So all good? Well, there's also the elephant in the room. The new shade paints will be available in 80ml pots instead of the larger 24ml pots, which is the same size as contrast paints, so you get 6ml less wash for probably the same price. It is what it is. And here is my verdict. The new Citadel shade paints make a decent product even better. They do exactly what I think a wash should do, flow into the recesses and stay there. I love the new additions to the range and Berserker Bloodshade, Targo Rage Shade and Croak Green will definitely become new staples of mine. 
The only negative thing I can say about them is the smaller size of 80 milliliter, but personally, I prefer a better result over a cheaper price. That's why I give them a well-deserved 9 points. And the other painters and content creators I spoke to during the seminar were also very positively impressed. I really think the new shade paints will be one of, if not the best washes currently on the market. And if you want to know what's the best acrylic medium to thin your shade and contrast paints with, check out one of my other videos here on the right. I have compared and ranked six acrylic mediums like Lamian and Contrast Medium and the differences were really surprising. Thanks a lot and happy hobbying!